I think for young people today, what's clear is that they're going to need to continue to learn throughout their lifetime. The idea that you get education when you're young and then you stop and you go and work for 40 or 50 years with that educational training and that's it, that's over. Uh, all of us are going to have to continue to adapt, get new skills, uh, go back possibly for different types of training and credentials. Uh, but I think what's very clear is that what our kids need to do is learn how to learn um, and become very flexible and adaptable. The future of work that a college graduate is looking at today is so different from the future of work that I looked at when I was a college graduate. Um, there is far less structure, there's far less predictability. You don't know or that you can invest in a particular set of capabilities today and that they will be valuable in 20 years. Um, we used to be able to say, well, this is the career I'm going to choose. That's a difficult bet to make today with so much change. I, I think more generally, uh, you know, what I tell students is that uh, it would help if you had the skills that are required to deal with information. Um, because those are the core skills that are necessary these days to help you learn new, new things, right? So this uh, ability to learn things on your own um, to some extent will be driven by sort of the core skills you have in you know, how you can deal uh, with information, handle and process information. I think the most important message is you need to prepare for yourself. And I think if we're waiting for the people are sitting in back waiting to be you know, candidly taken care of uh, by a welfare state, I don't think that's a very good answer. Yeah, we actually found that, for example, something like 60% of all occupations have on average 30% of the activities in those occupations that are automatable. So what does that mean? It basically means that we're going to see more people working alongside machines uh, whether you call that, you know, artificial augmentation uh, or augmented intelligence, but we're going to see a lot more of that. And that's actually quite important because uh, it raises a whole sense of um, uh, imperatives. It means that uh, more skilling is going to be required uh, to make the most of what the machines can do for the humans. I'm the mother of two teenage sons, 18 and 20, and I think about how do I advise them all the time. So what I tell them is it matters far less what they choose to study than the skills they build. I advise them to hone creative skills. I, I've actually got an actor and a musician, so that's not hard. Uh, but I, I tell them to think about analytic skills, creative skills, human skills, the kind of self-presentation, being able to connect to others, being able to sell uh, in the sense of, of persuade. They're going to need skills that they can only get by doing things. So every time they're given the opportunity to do something, they should say yes to it, even if it doesn't strike them initially as being exactly what they want to be doing. So what are you passionate about? Does that map to what skill sets are needed become a subject matter expert in a skill set that will have demand and then be capable of marketing and monetizing that. Look for that first job to be one where you learn not the specifics, but where you learn the generalities about actually thriving in the world of work. And then I think of my own son who's, who's 16 and on the one hand, I think he should study science and he should understand systems, but would I tell him just to focus just on coding? I actually don't think I would, uh, because machines are going to be very good at coding, by the way. Uh, would I ask him to focus just on statistics? No, because I think machines are going to be, can you know, calculate statistics and analytical things incredibly well. But I think it's important to understand how statistics works. Uh, not that that's what he's going to be doing, because he needs to understand that and have a more system-level view of those things and be able to think in a computer science-like way and understand systems and engineering systems so actually the skills that I would, I would recommend an 18 year old think about may, not, or may, may or may not fit in the traditional definition of skills is try stuff that you never thought about. And if you try things that you never thought about, you may find that you have skills and talents that you never realized you had. 
And being able to challenge your own assumptions about what you're good at and what you can do creates massive opportunities to put yourself on a path that'll make you happy and successful.